welcome to Make It Take It. I'm DC. That was Milo bringing us in from his piano recital the other day. He was happy with his performance. He played beautifully. All was well. I haven't been on in a couple days. My last night that I put plays on was Queens and the Queens teaser, which didn't come out, but you can watch that video. I'll link it in the description below with my record, and I like to keep everything well documented, easy to find. You can find it right down there. Queens, RIP, they're not the same team they were last year. Last year, they were my number one sneak team. I still love Queens, but we'll keep our eye on them. It just reminds me, I can't force anything. I can't just make a video or I want to come with quality picks. I love making the videos, but the picks have to be there first. It's that direction. I'm backing all these games up with my own money, so I want it as real as possible. But I have been 58% in the NFL this year, 11-5 and five in NFL props. And I like the Vikings today. Taking the Vikings plus the three at Cincinnati. I'm also taking Justin Jefferson for a touchdown. I know Cincinnati's a popular pick today, and I see why. Their defense has been playing really good. Browning's been throwing good. But look at the Vikings' defense. They haven't been scoring much lately, but their defense gets it done. And I like Mullins' as an option. He has some experience. And I say he throws one to Jefferson today. So Jefferson, the Vikings, and I'll probably end up teasing the Vikings too to back it up, possibly with the Saints tomorrow. I'll drop it in the comments when I figure out which teaser I'm going to do today. But like my video, subscribe if you haven't yet. Let me know what games you like. Let me get into my college basketball because there's a lot that I liked in college basketball. A couple games on my radar. First game that popped out to me was Texas Southern at North Carolina A&T. Neither one of these teams has won a game this year. Yet Texas Southern's a 12-point favorite. A no-win team is a 12-point favorite. That really stuck out at me. I don't really trust them, though, and I don't know enough about Texas Southern, so I'm laying off of that one. First game I'm taking is Bellarmine over Evansville in Bellarmine. Bellarmine's 4-7 and seven this year. Three of their wins were to non-Division I teams, which means they're 1-7 and seven in Division I ball. So they're a three-point favorite over a 7-2 and two Missouri Valley team. I'm going Bellarmine on that, minus the three. I'm also going to money line them. Something's up with that line. Also, one of my sneak teams this year, Gardner-Webb. I've gone with them a couple times this year. I like them plus eight against App State. Appalachian State has won seven straight. They've had some big wins. They just beat Auburn recently. And if it was at Appalachian State, I would not consider this game, but it's on a neutral court. So I like Gardner-Webb to get plus eight neutral court. Another one of my teams this year that I've gone with several times, Kennesaw State. They're playing at Presbyterian. Both these teams have seven wins, seven and three, seven and four. The thing is, Presbyterian is the lowest ranked seven win team in the nation. They're 296 in Kempom, and they're in the 300s in almost every category and ranking. So Kennesaw State's good Atlantic Sun team. I've gone with them already. We're going with them today. I'm going with them on a money line. So they have a short money line. So I'm going to take that. If Milo was here, I'm sure he would lean Presbyterian. But my other play is Murray State. I'm laying the nine points against Southeastern Louisiana. These teams are just on different levels. Murray State's much better than their record shows so far this year. And it's their second year in the Missouri Valley Conference. They're a perennial 20-some uh, game winner in the Ohio Valley when they were there for years. But now they're in the Missouri Valley. They're in the middle of the pack. And conference play is going to start after the next game. So they want to pump it up with this extra win before conference play gets going. Take a Murray State minus nine. And a similar one is Belmont. Belmont's plus five today against Sanford. It's one of their last games before. So there's also their second year in Missouri Valley. Murray State and Belmont are very similar. I'm laying off that one for now, though. So my college basketball plays are going to be Belmont, Gardner-Webb, Kennesaw State, Murray State. I also have South Carolina Upstate on my radar. So they're my three leans. Upstate, Belmont, Texas Southern. I haven't taken those yet. But if I add anything like I usually do, I'll add it into the comments. 
Let me know anything that you like, any comments you want to make, questions, throw them down there. Those are my plays for today. Thank you for watching. Good luck today.